I was writing an article for my blog and I was going to post it on the forum about how unprepared I think U.S. society has become. Is that back in the 60s and 70s, I was born in 1968, whenever I was growing up in the 1970s, we had these shows like duck and cover shows that would come on TV talking about how to be prepared, how to, uh, just, just if you see a flash a nuclear bomb, duck under your desk, and, and just the, just general preparedness, public information type of shows. Fast forward to today. They tell you to have a bag. Like a bug out bag or a go bag. Okay. And it's that um, have 72 hours worth of food stockpiled. Okay. Like Things don't last more than 72 hours in the world. Like nothing ever lasts. Uh, no disaster ever lasts more than say two or three days. I think it's just a little unrealistic of our federal government to say, "Hey, you need at least three days worth of food, maybe four. Most of what I hear is like a 72 hours or a week. It's, I, I find that unrealistic from the government to tell that citizens only to have a few days worth of food and water ready. Another problem that the squirrel over there on the tree, he ran around the other side. Another problem in the United States is our obesity. In the past five or six years I've put on 30 pounds. I went from working in a welding shop doing physical labor to sitting behind a desk. If you look at our obesity rates, not only the obesity, but the things that go with obesity, I call it the brothers and sisters, or it's family, or the family of obesity, high blood pressure, heart disease, stroke, all, all the related health problems that go along with obesity. Let's say that for, let's say that we have some type of situation happen, and either it's war, and people have to go to work in the shipyards, or back in the factories or some type of disaster hits and we have to start and each family has to start growing their own food people are so out of shape that what we'd be able to do another thing is is that back in the 1960s 1970s 19 even world war ii we had factories that we could retool for war what do we have today? Most of our steel is made overseas. Most of our factories have been shipped overseas. What do we really build here anymore? What do we really build? We have, yeah, we have shipyards and we have factories to build trucks or planes, but a lot of our stuff, a lot of our factories have been moved overseas. Like how many processors? How many processors? Or made here in the US? How much of our steel is really made inside the US? How many of our motors? car motors, jet motors, jet engines. How many of those are really made inside the United States? Most people don't know it, but there's only just a few shipyards inside the United States. A lot of them were closed back in the 80s whenever Ronald Reagan came into president and put us off on the OPEC oil. That a lot of a lot of the shipyards that built offshore drilling rigs closed. Shut down. All that's left now is an open field in a lot of places shipyards were stripped down in the 60s and sold off for piecemeal and if we don't have the ability to build ships offshore drilling rigs we don't have the ability to wage war a couple of weeks ago my wife and I went to a Sam's Club in Beaumont Texas and on the Sam's website they sell some freeze-dried foods and so I was really hoping to pick up some of those some cans of freeze-dried foods at the Sam's warehouse well guess what they don't sell any they don't sell them at that store Stopped and talked to one of their employees. He'd been there like 10 or 15 years. And I asked him, I was like, well, where's the freeze-dried stuff? They have it on the website, but not here. I can't find it in the store. He said they don't have it. They don't, or they don't sell it at the store. I was like, well, why not? And this is Beaumont, Texas. This is where Hurricane Rita made landfall a few years ago. Hurricane Ike hit just to the west of us a few years before that. 
it's like okay well we live in a hurricane prone area why wouldn't they sell freeze-dried foods in a hurricane prone area it just they said it on the website but not at the store it's just like okay well why not why aren't they selling some type of emergency preparedness food in a hurricane prone area another example Walmart sells these little can rotation wire frame things mom I made a video about the other day okay well in Jasper there's a Lowe's right next to Walmart my wife and I went into Lowe's and started looking around to see what kind of can rotation system they have they didn't have anything they sell the cabinets that they will install they sell all this kitchen stuff but nothing for organizing or helping you rotate your canned goods and I just I it's like how are people supposed to prepare for a disaster if they don't if the stores don't sell stuff the, the types of food like freeze-dried foods long-term storage foods they don't sell the stuff to help you keep your stocks rotated it's like the being prepared has just been taken out of our society of where the stores don't sell the stuff we don't even want to talk about it it's, it's like people play more pay more attention to sports on Sundays than they do talking about their food preps or talking about prepping for some type of disaster and then on top of all that is the financial preparedness Whenever I was growing, well, I'm grown, but whenever I was growing up, say in the 70s and 80s, home ownership was a big deal. I mean, people wanted to own their home. And today, it's like the banks are looking for reasons to take your home from you, like these adjustable mortgage rate or these interest-only mortgages. And it's like, where is the dream of home ownership how are Americans supposed to be able to buy a house, buy some land, have a nice garden, maybe have some rabbits or goats or chickens? Where is that American dream? It's like we, it's like Americans are being pushed further and further in, in, into debt of where we cannot even afford to own any land, to have a garden or have chickens or have rabbits. It's like we're to becoming totally dependent on big business and these big outlet stores to give us our food, to give us everything. It's like we're working for big business in one way or another. If we don't work for them to produce a product or at a desk, then we're going to work for them to pay them to buy our food instead of being able to produce our own stuff. I don't know. I just, I just don't like the direction this country's heading. That I think that things are going to really get a lot worse in the coming months or coming years. I look for, I don't know, just like long-term civil unrest. But I don't know, that's just me. I'll talk to y'all later.